Nahum 957, which fits in with the present conditions in the world. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Before the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us do the Lord, for he is our God. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall I enter my rest. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. <coughs> Pray him 957. As if you were not there, the skies ignite and thunder, rivers tear their banks asunder, thieves and nature store and plunder, all beware. As if you were not there. As if you were not there, Famine and flood together, ushers death, disease and terror. Stricken mothers wonder whether God heeds prayer, as if you were not there. As if you were not there, we televise the dying, watch the helpless victims crying, salve our consciences by sighing, life's unfair, as if you were not there. As if you were not there, your son, when faith defied him, faced a crowd which crucified him, leaving friends who had denied him in despair, as if you were not there. Because he rose again and showed God's love is vaster than the ultimate disaster, we entreat you now to master strife and pain, because he rose again. Awake, lie and harp, I will awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till a storm of destruction pass by. May God send his strength, truth and his love They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love has reached to the heavens and your truth to the skies. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A 
Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. Thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scatters Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and saved him from an overpowering hand. <coughs> then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The priests I will again feed with plenty, and my people shall be filled with my blessings. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. For the kings assemble together. Together they advanced. They saw, at once they were astounded. Dismayed, they fled in fear. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, with heaven my throne and earth my footstool, what house could you build me? What place could you make for my rest? All of this was made by my hand and all of this is mine. It is the Lord who speaks. But my eyes are drawn to a man of humble and contrite spirit who trembles at my word. I called with all my heart, Lord, hear me. <coughs> I will keep your commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will deliver us from the hands of our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited people and redeemed them. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled. 
and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord <coughs> to prepare his ways before him. <coughs> He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will deliver us from the hands of our enemies. Let us begin this new day with Christ, thanking him for all he has brought to us and asking him to bless us. You offered yourself to the Father on our behalf. Join our offerings with yours. <coughs> you are gentle and humble of heart. Teach us to receive others as you did. As each day begins, May your light rise in our hearts. May it shine forth in charity to the world. Show your mercy to those who are sick. May each new day increase their trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, we make our prayer to you at morning, noon, and evening. Dispel from our hearts the darkness of sin, and bring us to the true light, Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. Amen. And we now pray for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who brought to us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who call the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up a new and generous vocation to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If I may use human terms to help your natural weakness, as once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immortality, so now you must put them at, at the service of righteousness for your sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you felt no obligation to righteousness. And what did you get from this? Nothing but experiences that now make you blush, since that sort of behaviour ends in death. Now, however, you have been set free from sin, you have been made slaves of God, and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death, the present given by God is eternal life, in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy is the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Let us stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have set, accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as so much rubbish. If only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I've come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it was blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and how great is my distress till it's over. Do you suppose that I'm here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you. But division. For from now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, <coughs> and two against three. 
the father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Gospel of the Lord.